What's up, guys? How you doing? This is D Durrell, the Rebirth, at the practice today. Um, trying to get some more content in for the new channel and so on. It once was DDS Sounds by D Durrell. Had to change it up because I'm over a thousand. His channel was monetized, so I definitely wanted to take advantage of that by doing topics, talking about various topics and so on. Also, with that, I will drop videos here and there, music that everybody can listen to, and so on. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe and share. Also, guys, uh, you can leave comments in the comment section. Now, the basis for this particular video is to ascertain how Manosphere 3.0 destroyed the Manosphere. Yes, I said it. In my opinion, Manosphere 3.0 destroyed the Manosphere. They diluted it. They took a lot of L's. These Negroes are fanatical. A lot of them are just down downright dusty and musty and 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 fucking um whack and lame and it's just to me comical to hear these guys look at what they do look at how feminine they act look at all the scandals that they get into look at all the whining and crying that they that they show on other people's channels, particularly when they can't get their point across. You know, and it shouldn't even be a Manosphere 3.0 because like, like my brother, or like my little nephew O'Shea said, how the hell you going to claim to have a 3.0 when it's not even better than 2.0? I mean, you see these guys, man. They all conjugate together like women they gossip like women. They engage in relationships with other people to get information so that they can talk about the guys that they're beefing with just like women. That's what women do. They chase behind avatars, pretend women, just, I mean... They do all they do all of this goofy shit, but they're the main ones sitting here talking about how much of a man they are, how much game they have, how many women they can get. I'm like, wow. Look at the shape the manosphere is in. Look at this. You got guys talking about fourth industrial generation and barely work in the tech industry. You got guys that won't even talk about what they do for a living because they don't even have a job. You have guys that have been in the same position for over 10 years and no advancement. They talk the most shit. They're constantly getting into it with other YouTubers. Panel hopping. The worst thing you that StreamYard could have done was allowed more than six people on a on a platform or a panel at the same time. That's the worst thing. Now you looking around. Now you you see ten people, full of people that don't know shit about what they're talking about. Constantly talking about colorism bullshit. Const Talking about <clears throat> submissiveness, femininity, you know, the basic, you know, red pill bullshit. And that has been evidence how the red pill bullshit has caused people to have marital issues to the point to now they're chasing YouTube ass right now. It's getting so bad now that you got guys who these guys 
are now saving emails and text messages telling me about how the women on my platform want him. I'm like, who gives a shit? Like, like, dude, I'm a married man. I'm not chasing behind anybody. I give comments. I basically um, give compliments to people at times. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. I care less about getting the admiration of the women from a personal standpoint. I'm like, come on, man. I'm not dumb enough to lose my wife to YouTube like you. This is what 3.0 consists of. You got dudes who wearing hot ass suits and a hat going around talking about how they're going to harm women. And then they want to come popping up on my platform wanting to debate about savior's plans and getting the fucking bed bugs and shit. You got groups talking about divestment from black women. I mean, all of this feminine shit, man. It's just so feminine. You want to talk about masculinity and submissiveness? What about masculinity and aggressiveness? <laughs> the hell with that. Manosphere 3.0 messed up the sick. Bottom line. They've caused unnecessary beefs. They have wedged a bridge between people openly wanting to collaborate and do content with one another. They're behind the scenes clout chasing. They constantly worrying about who can roast the, the best. And many of them, by the way, don't even have a job or they're, un they're underemployed. And unfortunately, they actually get mad and, and they're jealous at the guys that actually are doing shit. And these will be the main guys come popping up from one channel to another with eight people on the platform and they get they get kicks out of debating women and calling women names these are grown ass 35 plus year old men <clears throat> it's like they can't exist on their own merit they have to have conflict with others to be relevant I've never this is the first I've been in this space for five years man Really, longer than that, I, I, I really started listening to YouTube a little bit. <clears throat> really, 14, I was listening to, to, to YouTube on and off, but I didn't come into this space until um, really 16. Um, 14 and 15, I was on and off. I was more into pro-black stuff. And then I didn't really listen to the Manosphere till... Um, like the spring of 2016 for the most part and the issue back then was that the guys were cool man it wasn't all these beefs even though you had uh beefs it was usually the bigger people the more popular people now you got people now because of the these people now just popping up causing conflict Talking behind people's back. Conjugating with women. Doing the same. A woman can get on a platform with all women. And then you come popping up. With a whole bunch of your little minions. To try to dog out another female. How masculine is that? 3.0 ruined the manosphere. The bottom line. Then you got these dumbasses. They, they, they decided. Attempting to be smart. We're going to create 4.0. We're going to create 
and all of them are trash. I never heard of an upgrade, actually a fucking downgrade. I've, again, I'm saying this. I've never heard of upgrades actually being downgrades. And the people who made Manisfield 2.0 popping, they don't even want to deal with you Negroes for the most part. They don't even want to deal with you. Because they see the BS that you're about. This is now an homogenized, diluted manosphere with fake, pseudo, scholars and intellectuals and fake Men who think they got swag, who think they popping, who think this and that in these guys' lives are in shambles. Matter of fact, I would suggest you get the hell out of this platform and fix your life, fix your relationship, fix your family. Get a goddamn job. Take a shower for once in your life. And quit trying to talk about people who actually are doing real things. I don't think and I'm, I don't think things will ever get back to the way they used to be because they're constantly, constantly having other new people doing the same stuff because they're learning it from these whack ass Negroes. So that's what I'm saying. Look at everybody that 3.0 represents stream team and all. Made shit worse. They're not getting better. Then the thing about these guys got two to three thousand subs they act like they got three million and the inflated sense of self oh my god it's just it's appalling so this is what this space has evolved into actually it has devolved de-evolved is it to be to be correct It's just gotten worse. So it is what it is, man. I pop in, I pop off. I do my own thing. I go in between the Manosphere and the pro-black community. You know, talking to, you know, stuff, the Umar type talk, Lennon Honor type stuff, you know, talking about different things like that. You know, again, guys, you can check me out on This Is Not D. Durrell. And you can also check, check me out on D. Durrell, The Rebirth. Um... Those are the two channels I'm going to primarily be operating off of because the dumbasses took down my channel. Hating ass Negroes. One of them is celebrating because my channel got shut down. I ain't forget. Also, guys, still working on I'm in love with the light skinned girl and caramel and dark skin too. The song is actually finished. It's just the video editing and so forth. And I wanted to do different scenes. I may change that because it's been bad weather and cold getting colder out here i'm gonna have to do something different because it's time for me to go ahead and uh, release the the song so i just wanted to talk about that that was just on my mind just need to get that off my chest these negroes fucked up the sector and and now one thing now i gotta say you now you're seeing now in this particular time you got more men forget beefing with with other men now they beefing with women now you having more conflicts with, with women being catty just like women wow all right guys man I'm, I'm i'm going to get out of here though i just wanted to just get that off my chest have a great day